I am going to talk to you a little bit about the vitamin D campaign that Amina and I have been working on. Um, first of all, why have we done this campaign? So, um, the reason is that Amina did some work as part of her medical degree last year to show, that, or which showed that 70% of pregnant women in Tower Hamlet were deficient in vitamin D. And that is a problem because it's linked to a lot of adverse um, conditions in pregnancy and for the baby when it's born. So things like a hypertension or high blood pressure, gestational diabetes, low birth weight, um, rickets, etc. It's also, even if you're not pregnant, necessary and it has been linked, the deficiency has been linked to some cancers, diabetes and new researchers coming out all the time to show that it is, plays an important role in lots of different types of diseases. So, um, vitamin D is normally made in your skin when you get ultraviolet radiation from the sun. That is the main way that we, our bodies get it. It's also found in small amounts in some fishes. It's important, as I said before, because it plays a vital role in our immune system and um, it has a whole role in the calcium uptake, so it's really important for our bones. So, um, what are we doing about the problem, especially in Tower Hamlets? Well, our campaign, campaign is very much still in progress, but these are the things that we've done so far. We're working with the PCT, who are currently making a whole load of guidance for um, health professionals working in Tower Hamlets about how to address the problem and how to reduce the deficiency prevalence amongst our uh, population. Alongside that, we are applying for funding from the PCT to create a website which is um, going to be a place to go for health professionals um, in Tower Hamlets initially and then hopefully nationally and also for the public so they can find out more information about the importance of vitamin D and how to reduce their risk of being deficient in vitamin D. Um, we're also really lucky in that we are working with an organisation called Maslaha which is um, sort of partners with the Young Foundation and has a big website aimed at the Muslim community so we're going to have a page on that hopefully very soon. Finally we are going to evaluate the impact of our project by working with GP surgeries in Tower Hamlets um, once our campaign is fully up and running and we've got um, all of the literature to go with it as well so that we can see whether our campaign has helped to A, raise the awareness amongst our population of the vitamin, uh, risk and problems of vitamin D deficiency and B, whether our campaign can help to address that and therefore reduce the risk of vitamin D deficiency because it is easily treated with extra supplementation. So, that's it. The PCT is the primary care trust. Primary care trust, yeah. You can have another well, question. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> are some bits a form of vitamin D? Um, they will produce ultraviolet radiation, which, yes, will um, help make the vitamin D in your skin. But obviously, if you compare that to the risk of using a sunbed and having all of the skin cancer problem, it's not worth it. Thank you.